I absolutely love the lines of the asymmetrical cut of this jacket and vest. This is so high fashion, yet can be dressed up for evening all the way down to casual wear depending on the fabric that you use. Take a look at this jacket. This has a different facing and a collar, something a little different. And then we have the vest that has absolutely no collar and just the zipper. I could also change the sleeves and make them out of a knit or another fabric. There are so many ideas, but let me show you how to alter the pattern for this really cool design. Take a look at this front jacket I've already cut out. I just want to give you an overview of what's going on here. This is the front and the front, the right and the left. This is the asymmetrical design, and these are the pieces that you're going to need. We have a piece right here. The job of this piece is to cover and enclose the zipper. So when constructing this, you would have this side would be faced, the zipper here, and this entire seam would be sewn in one. And there's your exposed zipper. That's for one side of the garment. This side, you have the fashion fabric cut and then we have a facing cut. It doesn't have to be the entire piece. It could be if you want to make it easy for yourself. And this side, the other side of the zipper will be sewn into and then crossed over. I need four copies of the center front jacket piece for this change. Here's the left front and the right front pieces. Mark the center front seam allowance and tape the right front to the left front. Do this for both sections. Decide the opening position. I could angle the opening like this or create more of a straight vertical seam. The top of the line could fall along the neckline or the shoulder area but make sure it's not too close to the side front pattern piece or the seam allowances will conflict with each other and look really bulky. For example, a zipper ending right here is too close to the bust seam. It would be better to move this line over, up and down like this or even on an angle. Draw a line from the shoulder seam down to the hemline on a slight angle. It doesn't matter which side of the body the zipper is placed. I've seen both shown in high fashion magazines. The key is to make sure the line is perfectly straight. This is where the zipper is placed. Add hash marks to show a seam allowance needs to be added to both edges. Cut along this line. Move this pattern piece out of the way and draw the same line on the lower pattern piece. Label the zipper line and add hash marks. Focusing on the left front, cut along the zipper line. This is where the zipper will be inserted. Visually you can see one side of the zipper and when the right front is closed this is how the jacket aligns. I want to take a quick break. Everything I showed you on the pattern I want to relate back to this vest. It's like putting together a puzzle so just follow along. On the pattern, we had right front, that's this side. This is the left front, and this is the left center front, okay? It's a good thing about videos, you can rewind. Right front, left front, left center front. We've already cut this line here, that was the one line that we cut. Remember I showed you where the zipper goes. Again, I'll show you how to do the facing later, we're just focusing on the outside of the garment. So we have this piece. The next thing we're going to need to do is to change the neckline because right now 
Remember we were using two full front pieces of the pattern, so it would have technically come up all the way around. That's why it looks so funny. So we're going to change the neckline on this. Now let's look at this piece here. On the left side, we've already cut this line, the line that the zipper is going to go into. Now we need to figure out the left center. You can cut this up and down. You can cut this, let it go all the way over. You have a lot of options. So without getting too technical on you, we're going to change the curve of the neckline. And by the way, this curve does not have to be the same as this curve. Often I cut them the same, but they don't have to be. And again, I cut this area here on an angle. There's no magic to where you cut this. This could be straight up and down. So when this is zipped closed, you can wear it closed or you can wear it open. If it's open and you have this cut far away, you end up with a second lapel. Are you getting the idea here? There are a lot of options. So don't be really technical and pull your hair out. Just follow along and we're going to put this puzzle together. Now we're back to the pattern. Take the zipper out. Again, what I just showed you on the vest. This is the right front, the left front, and the left center front. Let's start with the right front. I'm just going to lay it right on top so you can picture this is together. This is the front of your jacket. Where do you want this neckline to fall? I'm going to fold this under to give you an idea. Do you want the neckline to curve up? Do you want it to go just like this? It could even angle down a little bit more. Anything you want. I've attached this to my seam allowance. And now I have a new cut line that blends in with my neckline. Trim this excess paper up here off. Our right front is finished. If the zipper was here, this is what we would have. Don't worry too much about your zipper. Obviously this is too long. You can shorten this from the top, so don't worry about that. This is your neckline. This can open, just like I showed you on the vest or zip closed. Now focus on the left side. Similar to the vest, I could have this neckline come around to here and go straight down, or I could angle this out further if I want more of a lapel. It's anything you want. So I'm just going to draw one in and see what happens. This is my new stitch line. This is your new cut line. I'm just eyeballing this, but make sure that your seam allowance is somewhat accurate. Down here at the bottom, make sure that the line that you're cutting doesn't come too close to this point, or your seam allowances will be too bulky. I'm going to cut along this new cut line and see what we're left with. Okay, we're almost finished. I haven't added the seam allowances to this yet. This is your left center front, your left front. Here's the other side. The important thing you need to mark on your pattern for notches is the zipper placement. So decide where you want the zipper to start from the bottom. If your zipper's really long, you can have it go the entire seam. It doesn't matter, but in this case, I'm going to take the zipper out, make sure it's perfectly straight. And that will be a notch that I put into the fashion fabric to know that's the bottom of my zipper. And that means when I construct my entire jacket, everything goes together nicely. Now we need the facing pieces. I'm going to bring this piece back out. This is the left center front. I'm going to keep that with this pattern piece here, the left front, so you can kind of see, wow, I did a pretty close job on there. And we have, this is the left front. So for this pattern piece, we are finished. Don't forget to add your seam allowances to the front, and we are going to cut one, 
fabric. Keep the original grain line on all of these pieces. This is not the grain line, keep the original. Transfer them over to each piece. So this piece is finished. The left center front, we need to cut one of the fabric and one of the facing. The fashion fabric has to be cut with the pattern this way up and the facing needs to be cut this way. So what I usually do is mark it. Facing, cut one, this side, and for the fashion fabric, we already, we've already marked this up so much, but you can still write fashion fabric, cut one, this side. And this side is finished. Again, you have your hashtags to remind yourself to add the seam allowance. This is the right front. You can see I cut my other leather jacket a little bit different, but it's the same concept. Again, this right front, fashion fabric, cut one, this side. For the facing, I decided to cut this a little bit smaller. I mentioned earlier, you can either cut this entire piece as a facing, which is absolutely fine. It depends how thick your fabric is. But I'm going to just put a note here, facing, cut one, this side, and I'm just going to cut this out of the fashion fabric. If I wanted to change this pattern, all you have to do is draw a new facing in. And that's how easy this is. This asymmetrical design is a little complicated when it comes to the pattern construction, but as you can see, once you get the hang of it, the options, there's so many of them. Look at this jacket here. Remember the collars we talked about earlier? This is the exact same design I just showed you, except I added a collar. Again, back to the vest. As I mentioned, this is still a work in progress. I haven't decided what I'm going to add, maybe the sleeves. I decided to forgo the collar because I really liked this design. Another option, a different type of hem. Again, back to a different type of fabric. And let's take one more look at this jacket. The facings I did out of a different fabric. Kind of like a color blocking, but it's really fun. Again, look at this design. I kept this one really high instead of cutting it down like I did on the pattern. That's the only difference. And added a fun collar. So I hope you have fun with this, and don't be afraid of the zippers. There are so many lengths, they're easy to adjust. Enjoy.